the new versions of the Dell G15 have launched into the market of budget gaming laptops, and the device seems to attract buyers with great specs on paper at a much impressive price segment. But, in order to reach an aggressive price for this new variance, Dell have made some major compromises or cost-cutting with the overall quality of the laptop. So, in this video, we will discuss all such drawbacks in the new versions of the Dell G15, which is highly important for the buyer get noted before purchasing the device. So starting up, the first major issue we found was the display quality. The lower-end versions of the Dell G15 comes with a WVA display in few countries over the standard IPS displays seen in other laptops. This kind of panels are lower in quality compared to the standard IPS displays and seems to produce a yellowish fade to the screen, washing out the true colors of the visuals. Along with it was its lower color coverage of 63% sRGB and 250 nits average brightness levels, which makes it less suitable for productivity purpose. The screen also records lower response time and refresh rates, which adds up the conflict, with lower grade a gray response time of 22 milliseconds, and the 120Hz screen serves less with lower system latency rates and slower transitions in games when compared to other laptops with similar refresh rates. Next issue we found was the slower X16 type RAM stick equipped in the device. Similar to the other 2021 laptops, the Dell 15 fails to pack a faster X8 type RAM module, due to which you might potentially lose up to 15% performance due to the lower X16 type RAM equipped in the laptop. So it becomes highly necessary to upgrade the RAM stick to X8 type to attain the full potential of the laptop system. The next major drawback in this device was the battery life. The lower end variants of the Dell G15 comes with 56 watt hour battery which almost fails to serve well in terms of gaming performance, where the battery backup records below one hour of unplugged gaming duration. So you might want to frequently carry your adapter to power up the device during long hours of gaming, and also, the laptop lacks its potential gaming performance when the device hits below the optimal battery percentage, even when the charger is plugged in. So, heavy gaming and battery backup to support it is less favorable in the lower-end versions of the Dell G15. The thermal management was the next major issue we found in the laptop, under peak gaming performance with the performance mode switched on, the laptop reaches a maximum CPU temperature 100 degrees centigrade, and the GPU temperatures reaches up to 86 degrees. GPU thermal throttling was noticed when the GPU reached above its optimal temperature threshold. So, installing a cooling solution or avoiding long hours of heavy gameplay becomes necessary in the case of the Dell G15 laptop, and also, the fan noise reaches a noticeable levels under peak gaming performance. Next, let's talk about other minor issues in this laptop that could be a major concern for some buyers after purchasing the laptop. This includes the less optimized Alienware's command center software of the device. The command center in the Dell G15 lacks most of the features seen in an Alienware laptop, which seems to be a very basic user interface with no major options to tune the performance modes of the device. Next drawback we found was the weight of the device, the device along with the adapter and its cables weighs around 3.6 kilograms, which makes the device pretty inconvenient for frequent travelers and portability lovers. Other minor drawbacks include the presence of only one USB Gen 3 port and comes equipped with the older Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity option seen in the lower end versions of the laptop series. So overall, the Dell G15 seems to be a powerful budget gaming device with impressive specs on paper that could handle your basic gaming and multitasking workloads smoothly in case of the lower-end 3050 variants, whereas higher gaming performance could be expected in the higher-end versions of the laptop series. Thank you, please do check the laptop links in the description, and if you ended up liking the video, please do not forget to like the video and subscribe the channel.